So, YouTube just decided to cut out my video when I was just about ready to be done. Yay! Okay, so I look like shit. That was the first point I made, and I uh, don't really care because I'm trying to make an important point, and it's almost 6 a.m., so if I'm a little, um, scatterbrained, forgive me. So the point is, is global cautiousness and sociological perspective shifting. Now, my point is, is all of the media and all of so society seems to be focused on acquiring freedom through the manipulation of money and the, and the obtainable idea of wealth and status. I didn't really word that right. But point is, everybody is a slave to the objectification of themselves because we all view ourselves as a machine to make money and to therefore buy the things and get the things that we want which is tr actually our self-expression of freedom which is kind of contradicting the idea of freedom because we should be free already but yet we're making ourselves not free by our blind pursuit of money and wealth and then the second thing is is we allow ourselves to be confused and tempted by media because we say oh okay well media says that right now uh, racism that feminists that veganism this GMO whatever 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 so this is what we're all gonna focus on this is what we're gonna talk about say fuck that why don't we pay attention to people like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku and Stephen Hawkins and you know CERN <laughs> you know, the large hydron collider and things that are actually making a huge difference in the world that are, you know, we're going to have a huge shift in consciousness because, I mean, think about this. We've discovered 1,800 planets. We've discovered 23, I believe, 23, 24 planets that are so Earth-like, we're actually pretty damn sure they could have life at this point. We have found evidence through gravity leakage that there could be other dimensions, and this time not just in theory, but in proof. And we have these things oh, that we have access to. Like, if we had three cents to every dollar, go to NASA, and we could develop solar technology and particle collectors for antimatter. And, uh, you know, we could go to Mars, and we could go to Mars quick, you know? We could go there in less than a day if we had you know, antimatter propulsion that could bring us to two-thirds of the speed of light, or solar sail technology that could bring us to two-thirds of the speed of light. You know, it's amazing what we could accomplish as a race if we would focus on the advancement of our minds and the advancements of expansion than if we focused on our inward struggles that make us individuals, when really we should focus on what makes us all the same and what will make us better in the future because if we collected our resources and we all started leaving Earth I mean, we all started colonizing the moon and the Mars you know we would have to have a change because in order to live on a less habitable world than our own Earth we would have to more accurately be able to preserve society and the way that we use materials we would couldn't be as wasteful. You know, if you're on a on a permanent camper on Mars and you have no breathable air and you have to use a biodome and a and a artificially created environment, you have to put so much meticulous effort into having that operational that when that became become general practice and we find the technology to regulate that we would have a better understanding and idea of regulating our own environment and making it more hospitable for everything. And I really think that through the expansion of space and through the understanding of the stars and of science, we will have a much better understanding of ourselves in the world. So I think that's where we need to be focusing all of our money and effort into, not, uh, you know, the bullshit we are now. All right, well, everyone, guys. Bye-bye.